Hi everyone, uh, Dutch Reefer here. It's uh, time for a new video. This uh, week we're going to talk about uh, corals that are bleaching. Um, the reason I chose this subject is uh, because I just returned from a holiday and uh, well I went uh, away for two weeks so uh, my mom took care of, of the house and the tank so that's very nice of her. Um, and one thing you always notice when you come back from holiday after a week or two is that uh, since you haven't been home there's always a, the chance that some of your corals are doing slightly better or slightly worse without you noticing of course so um, to, to well, yesterday when we came home I was very surprised to at least see the tank uh, was looking very good overall so as you can see the most most corals are doing uh, doing just fine even some Acropora are showing uh, some better polyp expansion than before I went on holiday, so very happy with that. One of the uh, other things is that um, one of the corals that I had, a Lobophilia, has started to bleach. And uh, before I went on a holiday, I also had a Calastrea, which was already uh, starting to bleach a bit. Um, so today a video about coral bleaching, with of course some live examples, so I can show you what it is, what it looks like. Uh, I'll tell you something about the cause and uh, next uh, what you can do to either prevent it or uh, try to remedy it. So first I'll show you the examples uh, which are right here. So as you can see uh, there are two corals right here. The left one is a, a Colastrea. Um, not the usual yellow one but this one is a, a mint green on the inside with a brownish purplish uh, edge. As you can see right here the bottom polyp uh, is uh, starting to bleach, of our has, has already started bleaching a while back. Uh, I don't know why, uh, since the other part of the colony is really uh, looking really healthy. So uh, it might be the sponge that is uh, behind it, there's a little bit of sponge uh, uh, attached to the, to the skeleton of the coral, the base. So that might be the cause, it might uh, be something else, I don't know. And then there's this lobophilia, which uh, used to be um, um, red, and now it's, uh, it's starting to bleach. So as you can see, the tissue is turning white. Uh, on the left side here, you can see some a bit of how it used to look. This hasn't been attached, uh, affected, sorry, 100%. Uh, so here you can see a bit of how it used to look. And this is what it looks like when it's bleached. Uh, this coral doesn't necessarily have to die yet, although the chances are big that it will uh, because bleaching corals um, is something that's a little bit hard to uh, to fix. It's possible. Um, sometimes it's best to put them in somebody else's tank uh, because uh, if you can't find out what's the reason for the, for the coral that's bleaching and sometimes uh, you can uh, change it. Uh, by uh, by play, putting it on another uh, spot in your tank. So let's uh, discuss the reasons why a coral is bleaching. Um, a coral that bleaches is actually um, a sign of the algae leaving the coral tissue. Um, so usually a coral it uh, listens is a symbiosis with uh, uh, with the algae that reside inside it, and that gives the corals a nice. A beautiful colorful look that's the fact for all corals so both SPS and LPS and when something changes or when uh, then uh, when the algae leave the tissue then eventually the tissue will the coral will have no more food because it feeds on the algae that's the symbiosis and then the coral will turn white and eventually it will die um, there's a couple of reasons for corals to bleach. The most common reasons are um, too much light, um, the, uh, fluctuation in temperature, or stuff in your water that's, that you don't want in there, like heavy metals, or uh, too much phosphate, too much nitrate, so a change in water parameters. So three things, temperature, uh, light, and changes in water parameters. I'm, I'm not sure which one it is in this case because like I mentioned I just came home from holiday yesterday so I haven't measured my water values yet but since the other corals are looking quite okay 
uh, I would be surprised if uh, if uh, that was one of the main uh, reasons. Um, a change in temperature might be the case. It has been quite uh, hot recently, hot and cold, on and off. So uh, it might be that uh, the chiller is um, is cooling the water and the water is heating up because of the weather and then somehow this corals, these two corals got affected by that or at least the lobophilia has. Um, and the lighting, I doubt it's it's caused by the lighting in my tank uh, because uh, it has I haven't changed it in uh, in a year. I did change the bulbs but that was already months ago so that would be uh, I don't think that's the case for this coral. Um, so it's either, I guess, a change in water values, water parameters. So uh, what I did notice was that my nitrates were decreasing a bit. So uh, it might be the cause that there's two less nitrates in my tank for this coral. Or it might be uh, the change in temperature or another water value. So what you can do uh, when a coral is bleaching or when multiple corals are bleaching, one of the things you can do is uh, do an ICP test, so that's uh, or test your own water values. But if you want to know for sure, then an ICP uh, test, a professional water test, would be the, uh, one of the first things you can do to determine if there's waste or heavy metals or whatever in your tank. Um, if you don't want to do an ICP test, what you can also do is change uh, water. So you can always do a 30 or 40 percent water change. So with fresh fresh water or uh, or mixed water, uh, mixed salt water, and um, so you will remove some of the things that might be in there. You're not sure, of course, if you don't do a test. So that's the solution. If you're uh, if you think that it might be caused to uh, the lighting situation, so that you think there's too much light in your tank, then you can move the corals slightly to the bottom of the tank. Um, for example, this lobophilia has been quite high up, somewhere in the high middle part of the tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it somewhere a bit lower. So just to uh, to make sure that if it's caused by the light, then that won't be an issue anymore. Um, so I'll put it somewhat lower in the tank, see if it, uh, if it uh, recovers there or if it doesn't. And of course, I'll, ch I'll uh, do a water check. Uh, myself, I also I still have an ICP test from ATI lying around here, so I'll definitely do the uh, ICP test as well. I'll send it uh, to ATI next week, so I'll have the results somewhere in the end of next week or the week thereafter, and then I'll know if it's caused by something in the water. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all you can do when you see a coral bleaching, or of course you can always take it to your LFS, to your local fish store or to a friend with a reef tank uh, to see if it, it does better in their tank. Um, that's always a possibility if you have someone or you know that your LFS is, is uh, has a nice stable aquarium uh, your friend has a nice stable aquarium you can always uh, uh, deposit it there and see if it recovers and how it recovers you can always try. Um, so yeah that's uh, the main topic for today um, if you have any questions, uh, feel free to ask in the comments. Um, and other than that, uh, I uh, hope you have a nice weekend. And I'll see you in the next video.